This question is weirdly specific, so make sure you pay attention to it. According to the text, how did the researchers determine the level of surprise displayed by the cats in the study? So, okay, how did they determine the level of surprise? All right, let's see if that, the, it's the how that really interests me, right? How did they know? How did they know? I, I don't care that they're surprised. I care how they knew that they were surprised. Um, okay. Cats can judge unseen people's positions in space by the sound of their voices and thus react with surprise when the same person calls to them from two different locations in a short span of time. Okay, determine the level of surprise. So they're talking about what the surprise is like, but they haven't said what the researchers have done. Um, uh, Seho Takagi and colleagues reached this conclusion by, okay, measuring cats' levels of surprise based on their ears and head movements while the cats heard recordings of their owner's voices from two speakers spaced far apart. Um, cats exhibited a low level of surprise when owner's voices were played twice from the same speaker, but they showed a high level of surprise when the, voices, uh, the voice was played once each from the two different speakers. Okay, so I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on in the cats' brains, but it seems like their ear and head movements matter. So let's see, choice A. They watched how each cat moved its ears and head. Literally, that's just what I said. So this is not even really, I know it's going to be the answer, but let's look at B, C, and D. This is really just like a, a scavenger hunt type question, right? Just they told you to find something specific. Your job is to find that specific thing. It's not hard. It's not like it's disguised. It literally just says it. So you really can't afford to get this kind of thing wrong. Um, B, they examined how each cat reacted to the voice of a stranger. No, they said specifically uh, that it's the owner's voices. So that's just wrong. Um, they studied how each cat physically interacted with its owner. No, it's the, the voice is playing through a speaker. So that doesn't make sense. Um, they tracked how each cat moved around the room. No, again, it's just about the ears. They just say this. So I don't, I don't really know what more there is to say here. Uh, just make sure that you read the question so that you know kind of when you find the thing you're supposed to find, right? I think a big problem that a lot of people have on these tests is, especially on the old test when the passages were longer, they don't, they just read. They don't read with purpose. You want to read with purpose. You want to read with a, a goal in mind. Treat it like a scavenger hunt where you have a list of things that you need to go around the town or whatever and find. You have to treat a reading passage that same way, except the good thing is there's only one thing on the list most of the time, right? How did they know the surprise? They said the ears and head movements, that was the answer. So please, don't just read things blindly. Always have a goal in mind if you can. Unfortunately, some questions are just like, what's the main idea? And in those ones, we're going to use dumb summaries much more. But here, if you've got a specific question, take advantage of it. Try to understand it before you read the passage.